good morning everyone and welcome to another weekend we're going to slimmer mild this morning we haven't been for we didn't go last week because um i had hospitals so we couldn't go we were going to go yesterday because friday is our actual day um but we didn't go because we were waiting for a dog to be picked up so uh, we've decided to go today so i did let our consultant know that we'll be along on saturday morning it can you see i'm squinting the sun is so bright um i haven't got any makeup on i've put a little bit of eyebrow pencil on and a bit of lip gloss that's the lot though chris has done my ponytail <laughs> And yeah, we're going back to Slimming World, as I say, today. Um, the last time I went, I did have a loss. I think I lost two and a half pounds. So let's, no, I didn't. I lost, I'm telling flips, telling flips. I lost four and a half pounds. Hmm. Let's see how well I do today. Hi guys, I'm at Slimming World. Morning. Um, I managed to lose a pound. Don't ask me how, but I managed to lose a pound. And I gained four pounds, but uh, it wasn't a surprise as we had friends over from Canada. So it's your fault, woman. And Rhea, Rhea you, made us, woman. you made me eat and enjoy myself. Yeah, yeah we're but blaming Heather. Thanks for that. I'll see you again. Hi, my loves. Well, we're home from Slim and Wild now. Uh, I've got lunch in the oven. I've decided to make... Um, a crustless quiche, which is like cinnamon well style. So the cheese has been measured out and or weighed out, I should say, etc. Um, but of course, if you're not doing cinnamon well, then that's absolutely fine. So I literally just beat up eggs. Um, I put onion powder in. I put chilies in. Um, I did mushrooms and some ham, cooked ham. Uh, so I beat the eggs and then poured some of it into the dish, added some ingredients, seasoned it with salt and pepper, and then laid it again, put some more of the, the egg mix in, and laid the ham on, and seasoned again, and then I just put cheese on the top, and I've halved some tomatoes, which I've put in the oven, to have a nice little bit of speedy to go with it. So just waiting for it to finish cooking, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here we are then, guys. So that's the crustless quiche done there, and then I've got these tomatoes to go on the side as a nice little bit of speedy veg or fruit whichever way you look at it oh, there you go that's all plated up now oh looks yummy this recipe is is based on a Nadia Savalia recipe it's not exactly the same but um, it, it is based on it I'm just sort of tweaking it very very slightly so I've got some kale here um, I've just popped it into this pan into this roasting pan I'm not going to cook it or anything um, I've got some olive oil in here which I poured over the kale so I'm just waiting for it to soften up then I've got garlic roasting in the oven which I will be adding squeezing out the garlic and add into this um, and then a bit later on I'm going to take a chicken out of the fridge let it come up to room temperature and then I'm just literally going to marinate pour it all over the chicken just to give it a really lovely flavor um, I'll show it to you as I'm as I'm kind of going along garlic's in that's been roasted um, squeezed most of it out and still a couple of little sort of shocks in there but that's fine and i've now added lemon juice to it so it's the juice of a whole lemon in here and as you can see it's really reducing right down so by the time i'm ready to pour that over the chicken it will be a lot less than okay so i've got the chicken in the baking tin now so what i've done is i rubbed the kale and the oil garlic and lemon juice all over the breast of the chicken turned it upside down so the breast is downwards i've put some of the kale inside of the chicken and then the rest is just on the top now i'm going to just cover it in okay, foil so I've got the foil on it now this chicken is going to take two and a half hours to cook so about one and a half hours in i'm going to then start doing my potatoes and my carrots put those in the oven to roast and for the last say 30 minutes I'm going to turn the chicken over take the foil off turn the chicken over so that it goes nice and brown yeah hi my lambs I forgot to do a video of the dinner when it was dished up but here it is and it was lovely so here 
we have got some chickpeas, which Chris has mashed down. Um, there's a tablespoon of lemon juice in here. And here I've got 50 mils of water and you can use anything between the 20 and 50 mils into the chickpeas if you need it. Um, and then in the oven here, I've got garlic roasting and red pepper and that's all gonna be mashed up with the hummus. Right, so the hummus is done, look. Uh, Chris has just taken it out of the saucepan. Uh, they recommend that you do it in a saucepan. You're not cooking it though. Um, it just that it's easier to mash if you're doing it without a blender because my blender has broken. I now need a new one and I didn't think about it. So that's that done. I think that's gonna go in the fridge. Good morning, everyone. Sunday morning. I'm up with the larks this morning. I didn't sleep too good at all last night. Just sort of had the odd hour here and there. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just just could not sleep properly last night. Couldn't get comfortable at all. So um, last night, we ate quite late last night at dinner. And we did one lot of the dish the dish washing. Uh, but we had like pan, baking pans and stuff. We left those in soak, so I've got the dishwasher on now. Well, I've emptied the dishwasher, put all that away. Um, put the dishwasher back on. I wiped down the surfaces. Not that they were dirty, it's always wipe those down as I go anyway, but I've done the cooker. I'm gonna get it cozy, gonna get some wax burners melting, and I'm gonna make Chris a coffee because he always makes me one first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna surprise him. done so that's mine and this is Chris's and I've got six of the pedigree milky bones for the dogs they're only little ones but nice little snack while we're having our coffee in bed for them and actually can we just appreciate my African violets I mean they're just going I've never ever been able to keep one in my life before but I don't know, these are amazing. This one here is the baby from this one over here. And this one here is another new one that my friend gave me. And the flowers come out green. You can hardly notice the flowers because they're almost identical to the leaves. It doesn't actually happen yet, so don't go looking for them. But when it does flower, that's the colour that they are. Um, yeah, that's this beautiful colour. And the ones over here, say so the flowers have all gone now, but they're very deep purple, absolutely beautiful. And my little Christmas plant is over there. All healthy and lovely in their happy place. Extra cold. Got the heating on. It was £39.74, my lovelies.
This is a hamper I put together for our friend's birthday and I have a separate video of exactly how I did it coming to my channel very soon. I went for a meal with our friend for her birthday. This is a picture of my starter and this is a picture of my main course. It was delicious. Yeah, hi, my loves. So in here, I have got a soup. It's a chunky soup, kind of virgin on the edge, I guess, of a stew, really. Um, I cooked a chicken yesterday. And so I cooked up the carcass today, stripped the carcass. Some of it's going to the dogs. Or some of the chicken from the carcass is going to the dogs. Um, and some of it's in here, along with, you can see it all bubbling away so I've got chicken, chicken stock, potato, carrots, swede, onion, cabbage and kale and I just can't wait to get stuck into this on this autumnal day uh, but there's enough in here to do Chris and I a couple of meals so we're going to have some for our meal tonight and then probably some for lunch tomorrow or I'll just freeze the rest of it. Yum. Yeah. So I've come to the end of this weekend vlog my lovelies, I um, haven't done a lot today, I've been indoors doing, sorting, that sort of stuff, um, nothing really important to sort of share with you other than I've got my little soup on there in the background, um, so I'm going to end it here and I will see you all in the next one, take care of yourselves my loves, see you soon, bye for now. Oh my bye. goodness, we both had a big old fashioned basin full of it. It was lovely.